everybody. everybody. It's Jocelyn. And Mayella. And we're here again for another episode of Crafts to Go. Mayella, do you know what we're doing today? Yeah, the woven bowls. Let's go ahead. Are you going to show the craft? This is it. That is what we are doing today. Woven bowl. It is. It looks like something you could probably make soup in. But can but you put soup in that? No, I no. don't recommend unless you want no, it to No, not spill. at all. Don't at all because the bottom is paper. The whole thing is paper and yarn. The whole thing yarn. is paper and yarn. Yep. But there is a way you could and that's if you take a separate bowl, like a normal one, mm -hmm. and then you put it inside because these are decently large. I'd say you could. Maybe and then a small, a, a smallish ball. one. Maybe, and then you can like put some things in, and just like, oh, I mean, you have a woven bowl. What? Uh, yeah, but as a whole. No, but as a it's, whole, don't. It's yep. It's just a Horrible decorative. idea. All right. It's Are we decoration. Good? It is decoration. Are you wow. ready to dive into our craft bag to see what we have going on today, May? Oh yeah. All right. Let's put that aside and let's see what's in our bag. Wait, I want to do something cool to get it. Aww. Well, that didn't work. I was trying to spin it in the camera, but hey. Okay. Hey. Try instructions. Yeet! We don't need the instructions today because you have one second. Me. Also, what we else have, is in there? Wait, mom. We have some paper, but to make a joke, this is my human instructions. All right. Thank you, Mayella. <laughs> what was that? Paper. Hold on. You didn't even show it what paper. it was. It was paper. We have but what paper? It's necessary paper. This is the pattern that we're going to use today um, for our bowl. It is the um, the pattern and I'm the gonna, shape I'm, that's going to hold our, our bowl and yarn together. So we're going to set that aside. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Aww. Oh. <laughs> we are going to dive right guard. into our so. It's, uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't usually Okay. So the first thing you're going to do, which Mayella and I already did off Wait, camera today, cool. is we are going to go ahead and cut out your pattern. Wait. You're going to cut out the white sections and the dark gray sections there. Once you do all the cutting, you should end up with this pattern. I want to do something right cool. here. Wait. To um, show you all I did it already. Do it. <sighs> did it. I'm going to do something cool. You see this? And it's done. Oh, it multiplied right. and. And let's set that aside. Now that we have our patterns cut out, we're going to go ahead and start folding them gently. You're going to need to fold these sides, or I was thinking of them as petals earlier. We're going to fold. Yep, 90 degrees. So you're going to fold them. Like this? Just like that. Am I doing this correctly? It appears to be. So oh, I'm just going to go around. Oh, yeah. Mayella, as usual, needs uh, folding music or <laughs> any music as we are using our hands. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> why did I come up with that? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's keep folding our petals or our sides of our bowl. They're called petal offices. <laughs> why did I come up I with that? I do it? not know what you are coming up with today. Morning. Warning, this is going to be a funny video for both me and my mom over here. Oh, Th well. This person. This person, yes. Yes, that person. All right. I have mine all folded up. How about you? Are you with me? Keep going. Again, they're not going to stay 90 degree angles or anything until we start adding the yarn to it. So as soon as May Ella gets her last one out, we'll do our next step. All right. Next thing we're going to do is grab our yarn bundles off to them. Mine are off to okay, the side. Okay, I'm picking this here. one. This is the one okay. I'm going to do. Pick your order first up. That's right. Let's order them. Okay. Mm. I'm going to do gradient style, so I recommend you do the same. You can do whatever makes you happy. But I'm going to do gradient styles. That means from the the lightest color to the darkest. Okay, that's what in you're... rainbow order. Okay. But since I'm counting this end as lighter than this purple, okay. so this is going to go over here. This is gradient, my gradient style. Okay. Wait, oh, you're also kind of doing gradient style. I am. I'm going to start with yellow there. My example, I started with my darker color. Now, just so you know, the color bundles will be random. Um, it will be an assortment, so you'll have four of them, and I don't know which colors you'll get. It'll just depend on what is cut out on those dies and what ones are thrown ah. in the bag. So we're going to take our first color Wait. and find the end. Oop. Whoop. 
I'm going to start by having a little tail on the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to use this tail later on to, um, and I will tuck it in once we have our finished product. But until then, I need something to kind of hold on to to make sure that the yarn just doesn't move all over the place. Then from there, I am going to go ahead and I am just going to weave my yarn in and out of the sides. So, I, I, um, so I'm going to go in and then I'm going to, at the next petal, I'm going to go around that petal. And, and then I'm going to go inside of the next petal. Mom, how did I then do? Then behind. It looks like you're doing good. One sec, I have to fix it up. And then we're going to go behind and in front. Like this? And I have my first one done. Now, you're going to keep a little bit. Yeah, Mayella, that looks great. You're going to keep a little bit of tension on your yarn because we want those sides to, or the petals of our, of our bowl to um, move in a 90 degree angle. So we're going to want to make sure that we are pulling a little bit on that thread. Once you've done this, now we're just going to repeat. And since I have an odd number of petals for my sides, it's going to end up making my next roundabout is going to now be, if it was in the front of the petal before, now it'll be behind. It will just do that naturally because it is something that's very hard to show on camera. And I know I'm okay. trying to hold it. One second, I'm sorry. And I'm going to have this. to place mine down a little now. So that way I can go ahead and I'm just going to, again, um, go in front and behind each one of my petals here. I'm ready to change colors, okay? So I have a little left, and if I would have wanted to change them earlier, I could have just went ahead and trimmed the yarn at a different time. So I'm going to start where I'm dropping off, okay? So my yellow one is here in the back. I'm going to start my next color with, um, I'm going to do blue so that it's a nice contrasting color so it's easier to see on camera, hopefully. Oh, I thought you were going to do green. I was originally, but you know what? I decided that it would be a nice to um, contrast here. All right, Mail is doing a good job. She is going in between. I am now going to take my, now I left, my next petal is supposed to be behind. So I'm going to take my blue thread and I'm going to put it right where my yellow one is coming out of because that's where I want to pick up. And then I am just going to continue good. with my blue going the um, same pattern over and get, under. Get, Are you ready, May Ella, now to show? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do, don't cut it too. Let me Mom, see. We want to leave about I, I an inch. I can't, I can't see anything. Okay. Leave about um, an I don't know. Leave about I, an, I can't see. <sighs> I want about an inch, so cut about where your fingers are, right there. Right. Don't pull too tight. Just I, go ahead. No, no, I'm trying to Since make sure it's all, it's all good. We need extra to tuck in, so I'm it's fine. I'm going to add a, a half of the strap. Okay. Because this I am using. All right, so Mayella just cut this last little bit off so she could Whee! tuck it in this way. Tear it down with this mm -hmm. Okay. Keep going. I know it can be frustrating at some moments. Make sure you loosen that yarn up. I don't know if I would take the shaking out quite like Mayella did, but no, whichever we, way Ma works Mom. best for you. Oh, look at that. I finished another color. You're doing good work. You're almost there. Keep going. I'm going to add my next color, which I'm this time I'm going to do my green. Head, I, I'm using head yarn. Okay. Found my end. And yarn's cool. Went where my tail's hanging out. I'm going to insert. <sighs> I am okay, going behind the back. I had to check my. Okay, I'm about to be on, la right. on layer four. And I'm going to go ahead, holding my tail to make sure it doesn't slide out, because I'm going to be tucking that in later. Hey, Mom, has head yarn it, work? I don't know. Good question. I think it's just you place it on your head. Yeah, you just place it on your head. You place I'll it on your head. it dangle around your nose. Yeah. To be honest, Mayella, I'm happy with how high my yarn is. I'm about done. Honestly, I think I'm going to do like some of this because I don't really like it. Okay. It's well, a little too just dark. Why don't you keep going on the purple you I have? Think, Maybe oh, we actually, won't I think it. I'm only also going to do three Kay. colors. No, of this color. It's just too not bright. Okay. 
I'm guessing if you were using the color I am, you would. Okay. Use it because it's beautiful. It, I hear you. Is However, it really I'm going to talk, as you continue doing that, I'm going to tell them how to, to push in the ends. Okay? Okay. Now, you might want to have a pen or a pencil, or you might just want to use the tips of your finger. That we may need. All right. So, we're going to just go ahead to the ends of our, and we want to um, we want to go ahead and tuck these in. So, I'm just going to pick up my yarn a little bit, and I'm just going to shove it and hide it in there. Okay. Now, if the tail is too long, you might need to trim it. There is no special, as I said, sometimes a pencil or sharp scissors works really well. I have some pretty long fingernails, so I think that was, and um, I just tucked it in, right? I'm going to go to the another section. I'm going to trim this tail off. I think it's a little long. Yeah, it's if it's longer than your neck, if it's longer than then the side your, we need no, to. No, if it's longer than this. Oh, I don't think that's a good measurement. No, if it's if the tail is like this big. If it is more you, than two inches, if yeah. If it's more than two inches, which is the same length as this, the blade part of yep. my scissors. Let's put the Only blades make away from it our face. half of the scissors. All right. Okay. So we're everyone gonna, who's watching this should know that. Right. You don't want, you don't want to get yourself cut. All right. So when I'm going to go ahead and just take those pieces and I'm just going to tuck it under. You don't have to necessarily tuck it under the same color, but I, for whatever reason, that's my favorite way to do it. So I got another one in. Let me see, I have another yellow one here, so I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna take it under this blue. I'm just gonna shove it under there using my fingernails. Ooh, Again, if ooh. you need to use a pencil or the or your, your ah. um, or pen to do it, ah. just tuck it down and it hides it. Ah. And this that is, is so it. hard. All right. Well, May Ella, I think you're doing a wonderful job. We're probably going to wait till I finish this to end the episode because I'm getting pretty close. All right. Why don't you keep wrapping and I will keep tucking in my sides. I have another long one on the interior of my bowl that I'm going to trim down just a little. Hey, Mom, I have a question. Yes. Can I tell them about my restaurant? Oh, not right now, May Ella. Let's just finish our project, okay? We'll have to save that for a different day. Okay, we'll save that for our pet cactus. Well, maybe. Yeah. Or if I remember by then. Yeah, right. So and I'm so just... Probably uh, next week's craft, I'll mention it. All right, I'm just going to keep, and I know it's hard for me to show the camera, but I do have some inside of the um, bowl that I am going to have to turn the bowl because I unfortunately can't do it in a way that you can see it on air today. So I'm going to just have to turn that bowl to me, face me so I can tuck those inner ones in again just using my fingers Mom, and shoving that yarn underneath. This is personally one of my favorite crafts because we never use yarn. We don't. We oh, You know what? I feel like we've used yarn Not quite a bit this year. too much. Well, of it at least. All right. I mean, I'm not saying we don't use yarn, I mean, because right. that's an untrue right. statement. We do use yarn. We do, yeah. It's just we don't use it a lot. Right. All right. My, all my ones on the inside are now tucked in. I am finishing up and all with right. my last layer. All right. Let's see how that. Because I don't like that darker purple, and I think this is That's fine. Look I better. think it's high enough up, too. Wait. No, I'm not done with my last layer, though. I need now, to add every single You might want to roll it down. You might want to leave it as if you want to. Um, you might want to roll down the side of the bowl here. Okay. I'm done. Just to. Um, make the yarn stay on, or it looks fine just uh, as is. Okay, so let me measure may that real quick. Ella is going to cut her last one out, and we're going to go ahead okay. and tuck her ends in. One sec. At a different time. Okay, and that actually went really well, I have to ignore. Wait. Yep, and we'll tuck in the ends at a later time with May Ella. And Scissors. so we are going to go ahead and... Um, finish up, make a wrap here. Also, um, there was one thing I wanted to show everyone that you can do with these. Oh, Wear that's them as right. Hats. You can make them as mm -hmm. and use them as hats too. You can but use these things as anything you can think of, even. Yep. Just don't. Just don't put liquid in them. No liquid. No liquid. And, and be very careful when drumming or doing anything with the bottom. Uh -huh. The bottom is the um, easiest part to break. If you want, you can put like 
something on it that'll make it more resilient, like hot glue, like a good layer of hot I don't glue. think we need to do any I, of I, that. No, we're yeah. not going to do I that. I think it's, we should just leave it as but is, yeah. okay? Wait. So let's set it down so everyone can see it one last time. Our beautiful Our beautiful bowls. Yep, we get Mayella's in there, mm -hmm. right there. Mine may be a little bit of a hot mess, right. but mine's the brightest. Oh, I don't think so. I think it turned out just great. Now, I hope you enjoy this craft as much as Mayella and I did. And next week, we will be making some rainbow picture frames, um, which will be a lot of fun. So yeah. from Jocelyn and, and Mayella, we hope you enjoy yourself. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye.